It's third versus sixth in the Premier League this weekend, but oh, it's so much more than that. It's Arsenal versus Spurs. That's right, me old cock sparrow. It's the North London derby. Oh, it's great. I think it's it's not just about the game. It's about the week, two weeks before. I think that uh, fans start reminding you about it. Um, you know, and it's it is the, it is the fixture you look at what, at the start of the season when they when they come out. It's for me. I always think it's the, it's the best game to play in because. Uh, it's so quick. You've got to be right on your game, otherwise you're going to get clumped. It's uh, the atmosphere is better than any other game, and it's just a you want to do it for the fans as well. The desperation of not you don't want to get beat. You don't want the send the fans to work on a Monday get getting beat. So it was always um, the one I look forward to the most. Uh, for years, it's been really Arsenal in the ascendancy and Tottenham trailing behind, but now you know Tottenham have been playing pretty well, got a really good squad. And you know, finished above Arsenal for the first time in a long time, and now you know, the the battle of you know supremacy for North London is, is upon us. Arsenal could really take some some plaudits here and get the fan base back on side. Uh, it's going to be a difficult task, but you know, I think they can. I think they can do it. It's going to be tough, but I think Arsenal could do it at the Emirates. And did you know about it? I mean, when you went to the you know the petrol station, when you went out, did did you know that the you know, the North London derby was coming up. Yeah, I did. And I think even when I f yeah, first started at Spurs, you know, I'd come up from the South Coast. So for me, it was a Southampton, Portsmouth thing. Um, and then, of course, Arsenal, Spurs, two massive clubs. And it wasn't until that first season that I actually got there. And like you say, you know, wherever you went, people are talking about it. People are saying, come on, a big game. You know, they're, they're, they're on you. They're desperate for you to do well. So it's... Um, it is what it's all about, you know. I think at that point when I first came, I think almost, you know, as long as you didn't went through the season and you maybe you got to beat beat them, that's what the fans were worried about. Not where you finished in the league or how you did in the cup. It was just about that one game. I think the the atmosphere will get toxic if Arsenal lose the game. That's for sure. And there'd be nothing better for Tottenham than to 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 do Arsenal in their own back garden, um, backyard. But. I think after the challenge of losing to Manchester City, the way they did, I think Arsenal are going to come out fighting and uh, I think Arsenal are going to do the business this, this, this week. Uh, it's going to be tough, I know it's going to be tough, but at home you've got to go for it, you've got to show the mental strength and, and the toughness to go and get the result and I think they will. Arsenal have 18 more victories than Spurs in North London derbies, but many now think the balance of power is changing round here. I think most most certainly. I think uh, under Pochettino, I don't think he's lost to North London derby, so that speaks for itself. When I first went to Spurs, start the Premier League, I think we we did we did well against them the first few years. Then Arsene Wenger came in, and you know they were a great team, absolutely brilliant. And you know I suppose we we drew a lot, but we didn't you know we didn't win for for quite a while when Wenger was there. So it's uh, that was always frustrating. But now there's most certainly a shift. You know. Last year, with you know Spurs finishing above Arsenal and in the games themselves, I think it's six games unbeaten Spurs are in North London derby. So let's hope that continues. But Arsenal doing well at home uh, this season. But Spurs, I think, yeah, you know, the Wembley thing that people keep talking about. You know, they, it seems like they've turned that around. And of course, they they fear no one when they go, go on the road because teams come and pl play against them. They don't just sit there. And Arsenal will certainly have a go at Spurs. No, no, it's wobbled a bit and fair play to uh, Pochettino and Tottenham Hotspur they've really set a marker down in North London now Arsenal have been messing around floundering Tottenham have set a marker down and Tottenham look it to be in the ascendancy but Arsenal have been doing it for a long long time and 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 had the top spot elite spot for a long time so Arsenal ain't going to give it up easy and uh, I think this is a fantastic opportunity for Arsenal to, to put that marker down Arsenal have lost four out of their opening 11 Premier League games so far this season. A loss to rival Spurs would surely put Arsene Wenger under more pressure. But you know what? Just a victory would put them one point behind Tottenham. And that's the crazy thing about the league. You know, one week, it, one week can propel you or it can absolutely, you know, open a trap door for you. But if this, if this squad have anything about it, which I believe, you know, there's, there's, there's been a few accusations levelled at this squad, not having the cojones or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is a fantastic way to, to shut a lot of people up and to, to move up the league and to be breathing down your, 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 your main rival's neck.
because that just tightens everything up at the top of the league. The whole, whether they've got the cojones or not, that's really going to... It's going to be seen, isn't it? Well, it's got to be seen, especially there's no better place to show it than the North London derby. Tempers are going to be high. You know, the Arsenal fans are going to demand a performance. And Arsenal players have to turn up, be counted and go and do the business. Plain and simple. Try and dominate the game, dominate your opponent and win the game. Wenger's speech done. Get your cojones out for the lads. In the North <laughs> yeah, London yeah, derby. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that one, but <laughs> show them. You've got to really show your determination, show the fans you, it means a lot to you. Because I think that's what the fans miss. They miss that, you know, that Arsenal wearing that badge with pride and going out there and fighting fire with fire and getting the win. That's what they want. Well, the Spurs will be looking to see how they can break Arsenal down in that way. I think if you get at Arsenal, you will get opportunities. And you know, Spurs, you know, they only know one way to play and that's to get on the ball, pass it get into the final third and create opportunities. So for me, that you know, I think Spurs will create chances. Uh, but Arsenal themselves, very good team going forward. Lots of, lots of players who can cause you problems. But Spurs, you know, as we all know, are so much better defensively now as well. Spurs come off the back of a 1-0 victory against Crystal Palace and should have some fresh faces, with half their England stars pulling out of Gareth Southgate's squad through injury. It's a, it's a great opportunity, for, you know, when you look at most Premier League teams now, you know, they're, they're all away, they're all international, so, you know, you don't get to work on too much on the training ground, but for the Spurs boys, you know, to, to, to miss out on the, these games for England, you know, will certainly help them come, come the weekend. Where Eric Dyer can, can feel a bit fatigued, you know, he's played uh, two big games for England, yeah. but there's a few of those players, they're going to be fresh faced, aren't they, and, and important players like Deli Ali and, of course, Harry Kane. Of course, you know, they for maybe niggles or for whatever reason they didn't play the internationals they're going to be fresh and i'm sure um, richard pochettino and the tottenham faithful are going to be happy that they didn't expend too much energy you know playing for for the national team and they're going to be fresh because they're going to need them on saturday the goodness are at home obviously that you know that, that's going to help where where should spurs look to worry when it comes to Arsenal? Well, I think that their front players, I think Sanchez and Lacazette, I mean, goal scorers work hard. If you're, if you're not concentrated for the full 90 minutes, you, they will, they will, they'll take advantage of that. And that's what it's all about. I think, cause I think Spurs will have quite a bit of possession and that's when defensively they've got to be aware as well of those sort of players. Yeah, I think it'll be an open game uh, and it, it can go, it can go either way, but uh, I've got a sneaky feeling that Spurs will go there and win. Where's this game, where's it going to be won and lost? You know, who, who, who takes it? Well, it's going, to be, it's going to be won and lost at the top end of, the, of, of each side, uh, the attack. If Arsenal's attack could get the better of Tottenham's defence, Arsenal win the game. And uh, if Arsenal's big players can perform on the day, if they don't perform on the day, and Lacazette has to play, that's the other thing. Mm. Lacazette can't be on the bench, he's got to start. If Arsenal don't perform, and because and, I believe Tottenham will perform, you know, they've rested two of their top players. Tottenham will perform, Arsenal have to show up and perform. That's where it's going to be won and lost. Big Kev Campbell's talking to us um, about Arsenal uh, from that side of things. Talking about Harry Kane, you know, just can't say enough you know, when it comes to praise. What about yourself and how much would you enjoy playing with somebody who is such a fox in the box? I think he's an unbelievable player. I think it's, it's, it's all round game. He has no flaws for me. I think he can he can run. He can hold the the ball up. I mean the the performance against Real Madrid uh, the other week against uh, Ramos. I think he embarrassed Ramos. I think he absolutely bullied him. He ran him into areas. He was, he was strong. Yeah, he's an un unbelievable player. He's come on leaps and bounds. And mentally, he's very strong. You know, as a centre forward, he's going to get whacked, but he's strong. He he doesn't let anything affect him. You know, people keep talking about him in August not scoring goals. He doesn't worry about it. He doesn't even speak about it. He just gets on with it. Uh, he's been an unbelievable player for both Spurs and England. Harry Kane, how good is he for you as a striker? He's been, over the last three or four years, he's been special. Everybody could see that. He's a special talent. He knows where the goal is. He scores a lot of goals. And he's their talisman. And he, he tends to score at the Emirates and, and, and in North London derby. So Arsenal need to keep a a watchful eye on Harry Kane, try and limit the service to him, I think. I think because that's the best way of nullifying Harry Kane. And, and, and go on and try and, and get at the back four because there, there could be chances up there for, for Arsenal. He's one of their own, as they'll let you know. 
But uh, how good is he to you? I mean, who does he remind you of? And, and can he be a great, world-class? It's weird because he doesn't just stay up top. He roves around and he, he, he goes side to side. He's, he's an all-action player, so he doesn't really remind me of anyone. He, he, he reminds me of himself, to be honest, having watched him now. You know, he's, a, he's what you call, for Tottenham, he's their ultimate striker because he holds the ball up, he can run in behind, he can, he can drift wide, he tracks back. You know, he's an all-action player, so he's, um, he's pretty unique in, in that sense. I was going to say that the early kickoff sometimes you know, tends to yeah. can nullify these things a little bit, um, but it is the North London derby. Yeah. If you had to put your money on it, where do you see it going? I think Spurs will win. Uh, I, I really do. I think the way that they're playing at the moment, I think that the fact that a few of the key players have had a little break um, last couple of weeks, they'll be they'll, they'll be firing on all cylinders. I think that it'll be an entertaining game, but I think Spurs, with that, the way that they're playing at the moment, I think that they have too much for Arsenal. Who do you genuinely think will win this? Darren Anderson, we spoke to yesterday. You might guess where he thought it would be won, but oh, he went he went with Tottenham, obviously. And and you know the form book probably says Tottenham, but in North London derbies and, and derby games by 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 trade, rip that book up, rip it up. I'm going for Arsenal two one in this game, not necessarily on the form, but I just think Arsenal have got a point to prove, and they're going to prove it on Saturday morning. Is that where your money's going? Arsenal 2-1? 2-1 Arsenal. You've heard all the experts, but who do you think will be the kings of North London come Saturday afternoon? Check out all the latest odds on betsafe.com. And remember, you've got to be in it to win it.